Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy or Amy Louise. If you are interested in seeing how I did this really cute, really quick and easy holly graphic liner, keep on watching. Okay, so we are going in with a couple of liners um for to be exact these are all super beauty so we've got two different greens i've got freezy and fanny pack from super beauty and then we've got dance party and space panda a yellow and a white then i have got because i don't have a red um liner i've got a liquid lipstick this one is by nyx um it's just a soft matte lip cream um, that dries down and will stick. It's also what I've got on my lips. Um, whatever you've got that is red, we use it. As long as it dries down, like fully dries down, you're good to go. So liquid lipsticks, face paint even, whatever it is that you have to hand, you can use as long as you know, you're know you careful and you don't put it actually in your eyeball, you're good to go. And then all I'm using is two brushes. I've got a liner brush and then a brush. It doesn't really matter what brush it is, but just one with a really small end because you're going to use this as a dotting tool. I do have a dotting tool, but I realise not most people don't. Um, and then you want a good liner brush, one that you are comfortable using that's not too big. This one is the Nanshi Precise Bent Eyeliner Brush. I prefer it's bent because you get to see clear up what you are doing as you are doing it i find like the traditional like straight liner brushes i don't quite have the angle that i want um i found it easier with a better eyeliner brush so let's go in so i'm starting off with freezy so i'm just gonna wet my brush and then activate into the pot you never want to add water into the liner itself always wet the brush and then into the paint think how an artist would go into the water and then into the paint with this all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a line that starts above the crease and swoops up and wings out and what i love about this is this line does not have to be particularly thin all perfect because anywhere that you feel is not as good as an other you can hide it with the leaves of the holly berries it's not an issue so I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna create little leaves now I could not figure out the shape of a holly leaf I'll be honest so all I've done is done like little diamond shaped leaves and it works like it works so I'm going to keep this brush and the same liner and I'm just going to do bunches of two leaves dotted across the line, summer up, summer down and that's, that's it. Okay, I do have a little makeup cloth. That is absolutely destroyed at this point but um it just needs a good wash uh i'm just going to clean my brush off on the towel and then i'm going in with fanny pack okay now i've loaded my brush up with fanny pack i'm just going to go directly over the top of those leaves just the tiniest tiniest bit smaller So I open my eye a little bit and I've got it so I'm just going to take a wet and cotton bud and I'm just going to remove the smudge and then I'm just going to take my fan and dry all this down for a couple of seconds okay so it is now dry so we're going to go on to the veining of the leaf and again I'm keeping that same brush I'm just going to give it a little clean uh, water will clean this so easily I've got water in a little pipette bottle, so I just pop a dot of water on the cloth and then just clean it like you would normally um, on the on the cloth. So now I'm going in with Dance Party, so again I'm wetting the brush and then I'm just activating a small area in the liner. And all you want to do for this is draw a line, usually like a curved line, 
throughout the middle of each leaf. Now this is going to be a tiny, tiny detail. You can not do this if you want. I feel like it does give that something extra to the leaves. And then we're going to go on to the lipstick or whatever you are using for the holly berries. If you've got a ball tool, use ball tool. Or just find a brush with a really small end that you like the size of for your holly berries. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lipstick, I'm going to pop the end onto the lipstick, make sure that it's fully covered. And then all you're going to do is dot the berries. Now some I've got two, some I've got three. It's completely up to you. I like the mix of two and three. You can do all two, you can do all three, you can do four, you can do whatever you want really. And I do this at the base of each cluster of leaves. So just dot it down and then again. And you do want this in one fluid motion, just like straight dot and then pull back. Back to the trusty fan, you do not want this to smudge. Generally, you know it's dry when it's no longer shiny. Um, once it's matte, you're good to go. So next, we're gonna add the highlights to the berries and then we're done, really. Um, I like to use white. You could use like a pink, but I don't think it's gonna stand out too well. Uh, so I'm going in with Space Panda by Super Beauty. Now, for this, you need to figure out where you want your light source to be. It is a completely fake light source, so obviously it is up to you. Now, on this eye, I've chosen for the light source to be below, so I've got all my highlights on the bottom. If you want it from the right, you want all your, your highlights to be on the right side of each berry. If you want it from the top, on the upside of each berry below, the bottom side, the left, all on the left side. You get it. So, pick where you want your light source to be. I'm going from below to match the other eye. I just like it. Um, that is my personal preference. So again, just wet your brush, activate a small area in your liner. Now you can choose to go in with a smaller liner brush. Something like the Super Beauty 610 would be great for this. But I want to try and keep it to as minimal products as I can. So I am using the exact same brush that I've done all this work with already. And all I'm going to do is draw tiny little curved lines on each berry towards the bottom of each berry. And that's it. If you feel like you've gone in with a little bit too much white, you can go in with another liner brush and the red and tidy that up so I, I'm gonna do that actually and I said I don't want to go in with too many brushes I'm gonna take my Morphe M250-1 I'm just gonna take a little bit from the lipstick tiny tiny amount and just thin out the line a little bit so on the inside of the line I'm just gonna kind of pull that in a little bit Okay, so this is how I finished it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. You can add lashes if you want, but I'm choosing not to today. I'm gonna go in with my Evan K Lash Freak mascara and give it a really good coat. I'm leaving my lower lash line completely bare. I just, I don't know, I want all the drama on the top, honestly. I've paired it with the exact same lipstick on my lips. I feel like it really ties it all together and I just think it's really cute. This would be great if you're having like a Christmas theme day at work or something. I know personally at work we do a week, the week of Christmas we wear Christmas jumpers and like headbands and stuff. Um, I always try and do like Christmas themed makeup for work on like the Saturday when I see the most people <laughs> um, but yeah I always try and do like Christmassy themed makeup during the last week of December um, for Christmas that sort of thing so yeah this is really cute it's really quick and easy and I think it's really really effective let me know what you think down below and I will see you on the next one bye